Hey everyone, this is another tutorial on the new Linehart Creations Learjet 24B. On this tutorial, we're going to talk about the fuel system and how to transfer fuel from the fuselage to the fuel t wing tanks. First off, to let you know, some might be wondering when they get the plane, where is the fuel selector? There is no fuel selector. The um, engines ran off the wing tanks. The left engine ran off the left wing tank and the right engine ran off the right wing tank. Inside the wings was a uh, valve mechanism and let's bring up the fuel mount. Inside the wings is a, a fuel trigger valve system that when your tip tanks ran out of fuel then it switched over fuel flow from the, uh, the tip tank to the fuel tank. So it's sort of an automated or automatic fuel system on these, on these early jets. And so when you're flying along, you'll notice that the tips are um, bleeding out the fuel first, and then your wings uh, start to um, lower in fuel level. So that's how the fuel system basically works. And then you have some backup auxiliary tanks, which in this flight simulator model is treated as one fuel cell. So you have an auxiliary fuel cell located in the back of the fuselage, back behind the passenger's uh, compartment. And when your wings are low in fuel, then you would pump the um, fuel out of the fuselage into the wings via the, um, the transfer pump. So, let's go ahead and show you the uh, fuel management panel. Let's see. Basically, you have the uh, jet pumps, you have your auxiliary pumps, you'll hardly ever use these. Then you have the transfer pump switch, and then cross flow switch. Then you also have fuel jettison pumps, and this is how you would um, you would jettison fuel. And the main reason that you would jettison fuel is that the uh, early leers, the um, weight on the wings from the um, these fuel tanks, they're about 1,100, 1,200 pounds of fuel out there on the wingtips and if you landed hard on the runway you bent the spar in your wings you would you would severely damage the airframe so what you had to do was purge the fuel out of those tanks and it would be done like this and as you can see it's purging the fuel shut those back off and that's how that's done now this dial right here this shows you each tanks um, amount of pounds of fuel that's left in it and it also has a total it's pretty neat so but you need to really keep an eye on your wings probably on a long trip you're gonna want to leave it on one of your wing settings and uh, on the there's notations of your maximum amount per tank. So on your wings you should have 1160 is about 1100 and so 1160. And so you you'll know that this tank is still full. Now, speaking of full, on your center tank, the only way to know if it's full or empty like if you're emptying it, if you're dumping it into if you're transferring it into the wings, this light will turn off and this light will eventually turn on when the fuselage tank is empty and that's how you would know as well as this this, this will also give you a reading but it, this was a, a secondary way of seeing if you had fuel left in the fuselage tank which is basically that's your auxiliary and just a small side note when you're switching off your engines shutting them down on an actual Lear you would shut them down by crossing over the lever in this gate and 
plopping it down into here and that would actually shut your engines off but we can't I can't I couldn't model it in um, flight simulator I, I imagine there's gurus out there who would be able to figure that out but I couldn't you know so anyway so what you would do is um, you would switch off your jet pumps and that will shut off your turbines that should actually shut off the turbines anyway um, these are your your uh, your pumps there reason they call them jet pumps is they were jet driven the they're actually mechanical pumps driven off of uh, an auxiliary shaft on the turbines themselves as long as the turbines are spooled up there should be fuel pressure so that's that's that with the uh, with the fuel panel and so let's go back here to the fuel map you'll notice that um, not only does it give you sort of a 3d looking effect of you know where your fuels at the blue zone is your fuel and as it as it drains out you'll see the tanks uh, cell walls inside there and then you have the um, uh, digital readout as well. So I included a, a secondary fuel purge system on these that are like for emergencies. I just you, you think of a lot of stuff when you're building and testing these planes. And so anyway, if you tap on the wing, I ended up keeping this. If you tap on the uh, the tip tanks, um, you can actually drain the, the fuel out fast. Now there's it's pretty fast, eh? tap it again and that stops the, the fuel purge. Now if I were to jettison the fuel all the way out, whether it's with a fuel map or with these dump switches, I can starve an engine because the flight simulator code can't move faster than the fuel is dumping. Doesn't have the ability to switch over the fuel selectors, the invisible fuel selector mechanism doesn't have time to switch that over to the wings fast enough to keep the engines from stalling so when you're purging your fuel on the Learjet 24B do not dump the fuel all the way out leave some in there just like that once these are, are drained out then the automatic uh, valve system will kick into the wings now you'll notice that I've got a imbalance of uh, 35 pounds and 11 pounds. Got about a 25 pound imbalance going on with the wings. So in that case, I would hit the cross flow and try to get them to uh, to balance out. the engines have begun uh, drinking from the uh, wing tanks. Next, let me show you how to do a fuel transfer. Alright, so here we have a condition where the tanks are really low and it's time to pump some fuel from the fuselage into the, uh, into the wings. So what we do is push the transfer switch up. You'll see that the green light is on on the uh, center fuel tank, the fuselage tank. And so that means that it's still full, close to full. Okay, now it's out. And if we go over here to, to our fuselage reading, you can see the needle begin to move. You see that it's digitally moving as well. And the little 3D artwork of the fuel is, is moving also. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. That's the power of Prepar 3D is you can go up to 120 plus times in your um, fast forward. Whereas in uh, Flight Simulator X, 
when you're in autopilot, you can only go 16, 16 speed. It's 120 plus speed, and it's stable. It doesn't, doesn't go up and down on you like it does in Flight Simulator X. Anyway, that's how you uh, you manage your fuel. That's uh, that's a fuel transfer mini tutorial and sort of a walkthrough on the fuel system of the Lear 24B. It's pretty easy. You know, you just have your, your basic jet pumps, your backup pumps, transfer switch, cross flow, your two um, perch jettison switches, and your uh, fuel gauge. That's it. Hope it makes sense to you and have fun and hope you didn't spend too much time looking for a fuel selector. Take care and happy flying.